you were sporting a new look with the headgear. Um, what's what was behind that? Uh, no, Robbo's tossed it up to me a couple of times now. Um, I hadn't really thought about it. There was one floating around at training during the week last week. I chucked it on, so uh, I felt all right. I think, uh, like Trent said, if, if there's anything you can do to you know help you with knocks or anything like that, you, you may as well try it. I tried on the weekend, it was all right. Didn't really feel it, so. Did it give you more confidence? Did you feel more confident? A little bit, yeah. You don't really, I didn't really, you don't really think about it during the game, so um, I guess it stops the little elbows and hips and things like that rather than rather than the big ones. It was a surprise move, but it's no secret Kiri can't keep getting KO'd. But he says it's wrong to say his career's on the ropes. No, I feel my old self. I feel good. I feel better than my old self. With so many concussions in the game, Kiri has backed the NRL's use of an independent doctor. We're not just going to stick our hand up and go, oh, yeah, i got a knock, take me off the field. Someone's going to have to drag you off the field. You see it all the time with players that are knocked out, they don't want to go off the field. So, yeah, I don't know about can the NRL trust coaches, you know, uh, trust the coaches or the clubs, don't know. Can you trust the players? Probably not. The positive for the Roosters is a re-signing of Joseph Suali'i and favourite son Daniel Tupo says he won't be pushed out after the club signed Newcastle's Dom Young. Would you like this to stay next year? Or? Yeah, for sure. This has been my home for the last 12 years and I feel like it's gone by um, so quick. Danny Widler, Nine News.